What's going on Internet? IG here again with another Linux distro review. Today I'm looking at the much requested XFCE based distribution known as Voyager. <laughs> Now Voyager 12.10 is of course based on the latest Ubuntu release and what I'm actually going to be doing in the next kind of uh, series of videos I guess is looking at some Ubuntu derivatives that are sort of almost forks of their official Ubuntu spins. So for instance the core Ubuntu family have Ubuntu, Zubuntu, Lubuntu and Kubuntu and probably also Gubuntu sort of. But they're uh, each based on their respective desktop environments, XFCE for Zubuntu, KDE for Kubuntu, LXD for Lubuntu, etc. Now, each of those distributions is fairly vanilla based on uh, the, the packages that come from upstream. Uh, they're, they're fairly vanilla desktops, there's not a whole lot of customization to them, and it's often criticized that Canonical doesn't really do enough with its official Ubuntu family. And that's why I'm going to be looking at some distributions that are based on these spin offs, uh, but are much more customized and much more uh, tailored and tinkered to the uh, end user's needs. Voyager OS being the expansion of what Zubuntu should be. And I am very, very impressed. Zubuntu, of course, is going to be a very fast distribution. It's going to be very compact because it is XFCE, as we've seen before. You get a lot of great applications here installed out of the box, which I think is fantastic. You get all of the tools and tweaks that you could need to be productive as soon as you install this system. Of course, the theming you'll notice does look very similar to the uh, ambience theme on the Ubuntu side of things. So it doesn't look as, uh, as much of a stranger to the Ubuntu family as what Zubuntu does. But you see here, we've We've got some basic system tools here like system cleaning, your package management, VirtualBox and your PPA management. We've got Office, uh, lightweight Office applications, so there's no LibreOffice here, but you won't be left in the dark as you do have AbbeyWord and GNumeric, and then of course the Arage suite there as well, fairly standard for XFCE. You also have the Cheese, Clementine for your music player, you've got Minitube, Paroles, you've got a, you've got a few video editors, um, video players, XF Burn there as well. Internet, you've got a great selection of apps here as you've got Firefox, Thunderbird, Hotot, which is the uh, which is sorry the Twitter client, Pigeon Instant Messenger, and you've got a network manager and XChat and transmission of course. Graphics, it's good to see Darktable here as that's a fantastic uh, uh, application you can use to develop images from your digital camera and I've got a review for that uh, on my channel as well that I'll put a link to in the description. And then of course we have Gthumb for your image, ma image management and GIMP for your image editing. Very good stuff indeed. A couple of games and a few accessories including the Synapse Keyboard Launcher, which is all you need to get your stuff done. As uh, you can see here, it's pretty much type anything to launch anything, and you are away. Now, what I like about Voyager OS is that they really have made some nice tweaks here to make the system so much easier for those coming over uh, who are transitioning from a, another desktop environment entirely. This this may include uh, Windows or OS X, but even from other Linux desktop environments, they really make some uh, good compromises here to help you learn your way around the OS. You can see here we've actually got some cool conky configurations here on the desktop going, showing you the time, the date, and also your system management, uh, system resources. You've also got an indicator down here showing you which desktop workspace you're on as well. So you can jump between them and it updates that, which is also pretty awesome. Now, of course, between the vast selection of applications you can get through the software center, there, this, this system really opens up as far as what you're capable of doing with it. The default selection of applications is very nice indeed, and boot time, I've got to say, is incredibly quick. Because the desktop environment is lightweight, you're not going to be left sitting around uh, waiting for much at all. You can install Compiz on top of XFC, so you can get your fancy window effects, but by default, it's fairly simple, going more for practicality over pizzazz. Now, it also is worth noting noting that this distribution is developed in another language apart from English. So it is worthwhile to make sure that you install your language support and it's not that hard to do and just to make sure you fill out all of the help manuals and all of the text and context specific text menu items across the system because I did notice that there are a few language issues. You can see here when you right click you sometimes get a few words thrown in there. Uh, French, I think, maybe. Now, apart from showing my ignorance in foreign languages, I need to stress the quality with which that the, uh, with which these guys have developed this OS, as uh, they've really polished it quite a bit. It's gone through several beta releases and uh, some release candidates. So they've tried to squash as many bugs as they can, and I certainly haven't encountered any issues while I've been using it, which is fantastic. And again, the pre-installed selection of applications is much more fleshed out than anything you'll find in Zubuntu. Uh, one issue that I will bring up is that during the install, 
controller you do have the slideshow from the uh, from the basic Zubuntu install so it gives you a bit of misleading information about how, uh, what applications are pre-installed on the uh, on the system as opposed to what is actually there but as per the choices that uh, the Voyager team have made now it's also worth noting that in the settings manager here for XFCE you can see a few items that you don't generally see such as the boot repair, firewall configuration and grub customizer. Also really good to see that we've got cover glubus here that you can configure which is like a quick preview option for your music player. You can see here it sits on your desktop based on the music that you are playing from your desktop which is pretty cool. And we've got, another, and we've got a few other tools and tweaks here just to flesh out your system settings that bit more. So I'm definitely going to say that this is the best XFCE image implementation on a distribution that I have seen this year. Of course, uh, we are sitting right at the end of the year, so Voyager OS is definitely worth checking out. You've got the strength of the Ubuntu base, you have a speedy desktop environment, you've got a great selection of apps pre-installed including a keyboard launcher and many tweaks and, and little tools that you might need along the way to help you get going and be productive right out of the box. You've got a great inclusion of artwork and themes as well which is probably worth mentioning but is not terribly important as you can customize the system very easily. And overall this is really what the Zubuntu OS should be. At a 1.4 gig download it's not terribly large but like I said for the amount of apps that you're getting out of the box and for the amount of productivity you can have straight as soon as you install this thing it's definitely worthwhile it covers all of your bases that you could possibly want and of course opens the door for more and more apps to be installed as soon as you're ready to go thank you all for watching i shall see you all again very soon i am now home for the holidays as it were so there will be a few videos coming out but i'm going to be trying to crank out a few series here in the near future so make sure you like the video if indeed you did like the video and if you like this content on a regular basis be sure to subscribe and go and check out Voyager OS 12.10. Peace out ladies and gentlemen.